Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, I mean, goddamn, sir, this is always so hard to say, man. We're at week two of the final month, man. We're, um, in two weeks exactly, we will be recording our final Friday Night Smackdown of the season, and then we'll take our month off, and then we're back with the final season. Um, it's... A lot. It's very hard to uh, put all the That's what she said. <laughs> put all the years of effort into this. For uh, you know, life comes up, and uh, as Jamsaw says, we can always come back to it with uh, my portion of it. But after next season, we will be doing strictly AEW commentary on his channel, so that way I can focus on my family and uh, other gaming for my two channels. So. Uh, before we get into any of that, with me as always is the B Show himself, Jeff. So how are you today, sir? I'm the A Show, and as always, phenomenal, Brock. Because I'm the A Show, and I will always be the A Show, and you are just the A Hole. But that's fine, because uh, you only bring me up while I bring you down. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the that's proper uh, introduction. This going, is the going back. Like I, I love every time we talk about the end of the season. And everything is like, oh, next. Yeah, the next season's going to be the end for me. Champs is going to keep going. And I'm like, maybe I won't. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see. Listen, I feel like it depends this... On the, it depends on if they innovate with the game, right? If people are watching. It's true. Know? It's true. So, on sad news, next season might be the final season for us. On um, happy news, uh, we'll be going on till The main goal for us was 10 seasons. That's what we originally agreed on, but... You know, life uh, life gets in the way, but um, but uh, yeah. So we'll we'll give you more. We'll give you a definite answer after season five on what's going on. But before we get into any of that, the proper introduction with me as always, the man who Jericho's me every year around the same time. Jam saw. How are you today, sir? Phenomenal rock, always phenomenal. Things are looking up, things are looking great. I like everything that's happening, and I cannot complain. I mean, I can't complain, but there isn't really any reason to. Right. Well, to open us up, sir, one of the greatest WWE Marines herself, Lacey Evans, taking on TNA's uh, Jordan Grace. I got a damn. Well, I mean... Two very brawny ladies. One was a soldier. One was a lifter. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see which one comes out on top. Although right now, it's looking like Jordan Grace is going to be on top through this fight. Oh damn! The rock. Nice. God. A god. A damn. Which is running. Nice drop. The body splash. She gonna do what she gotta do. Oh, nice! There you go. Beautiful. Well, I know they, they definitely are, my friend. I'm telling you. Hey oh. Hey oh. Let me hear say hey oh. Hey oh. Hey -oh. Nice, nice. Nice, Lacey! There you go! Beautiful combo! I never understood that outfit, though. That's very whale taily. Yeah. Ooh, nice! Now! If you guys have been following both channels, you guys will know that Wednesday night is AEW, and we were talking about Jack Perry, for my end, hoping he becomes world champion by All Out. What are the chances, with your history of doing this, as we put people in the spotlight that are uh, not really world champion material, how well, on a scale of 1 to 10, do you think Jack Perry's going to do becoming world champion by All Out? Well, I think like, he's got about a 30% chance. Okay. 
or if we're going to do some Steiner math, he, he might have a 33 and a half <laughs> percent chance. Uh, someone did the math, and apparently the math was, like, right, I believe. It was just the way he carried himself. It didn't seem like it was right. <laughs> the math was wrong. No, I'm pretty sure it was right. Look it up. Look it up right this now. Is, this is why you're not the Asian. Look it up right this now. Is why you're the able. I then I'm gonna yeah. look it up. Then I'm I gonna balance, look it up. I balance the books at home. There's no way I like <laughs> I will look it up. That nonsense didn't mean shit. That nonsense was true sense. Well, we didn't ask for your two cents. Was the Steiner math correct? Incorrect probability calculation. Steiner's method of subtracting 25% from both Joe and Abel's chances, leaving him with a supposedly impressive 83% chance. That's two third percent chance of winning is flawed. See, I feel like you just don't want it to be right. I did what you did, bud. I looked it up online, and they're telling me right there. In conclusion, Steiner's math promo, uh, promo is more of a publicity stunt than genuine attempt to apply mathematical principles. See, I feel like that wasn't done by an actual Harvard-level college mathematician. This is fundamentally flawed and lacks mathematical accuracy. No, I feel like that was bad. for you right there, bitch. I feel like that, math, that, that research was done by a fifth grader. That's what Steiner's math was. <laughs> <laughs> he may not even have graduated fifth grade. How about a boom? How about a bing? He does a goose, a gabagoo. A gabagoo. Boom! There you go. Boom! That's right, Tarzan, or not Tarzan. That's right, King Kong. <laughs> Pound on your chest. He ain't got nothing on me. As a great B Red once said, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. Dean Seal. If you know, you know. Dean Seal. Oh, so I need to tell you guys what happened to me all of last week, because this is Friday. So. Oh, cover, so I'll continue after this. Um, to who? Wow, to Jordan me. Grace. Jordan Grace takes the victory. Picking up a victory. God damn. Wonderful. Uh, the TNA really? showing that they're better than SmackDown. Damn. I mean, she's doing great in the United States division. I mean, uh, she could, in fact, be going into next season's uh, The Omni War Games as a, as a mid-card champion. So up uh, next. Could be. So up next, we believed, and he appeared, Joe Hendry, going up against former world champion Kofi Hingston, who lost his title fairly and legitly. Not at all. Uh, Logan the fuckwad Paul. But Logan... Him and his butt brother, uh, friggin' douchebag Paul, who beat Tyson with some more <laughs> bullshit right there. Or schmaz. It's all schmaz when it comes to the Paul brothers. Listen, this world is a business, and money runs... Just wait, just wait until they get into, like, a triple threat with their other brother, RuPaul. <laughs> so anyway, so last Monday, I paid for my wife to get her birthday tattoo. Now, her birthday is not till the end of the month, but I thought, fuck it, let's make it an early birthday gift. Now, her tattoo was a thousand dollars. I can take it on the chin because I have I have four times that on my body myself. So I was like, fuck it. I have a thousand dollars saved. What could go wrong? Now Gamsaw, I ask you, when someone says that, what generally happens? Something goes wrong. Something goes wrong. You broke down, you need to repair it. Yes, Tuesday, I was driving my daughter to my boss's wife's house because uh, when my mom can't watch her, my boss's wife does because she loves Miracle May and she'll drop anything to come see her, which she's done in the past. I am grateful. Thank you so much. So, I'm driving 
as I'm leaving the house, five minutes down the road, I start feeling my back driver's tire wobble. And I'm like, nah, it's fine. It's probably nothing. And then it continues for 10 more minutes. And I'm like, should I pull over and look at it? No, we shall be fine. So then I have to get on the highway to get to my boss's house. So as I'm approaching the highway exit, it's getting worse. And I'm like, I'm jam saw, jam saw. I'm telling you, I deathly debated not looking at my tire. I was like, it probably just needs air. It's fine. But then I was like, you know what? If it does need air, let me do it. It's, it's, it's just a minute, and I'll get on the highway. I pull over. My daughter is in the back seat sleeping. I get out, look at my back tire. It is dry rotted and smoking. Oh, shit. So, I then in turn look at the other tires. All four of my tires are dry rotting. Ugh. So, call my boss. He comes over with his wife, because like I said, she drops everything to come see my daughter. And uh, they watch her for the day. And uh, so, called my uncle. He came over. We changed my tires. I dro I put my donut. You have four new tires. got to be like 600 bucks. So, I put the donut as the spare tire on the back. And he's like, hey... Put air in that tire just in case. I fill it up 40, 40 PSI. I get to work, which is a 20-minute drive. And then the day shift goes on break five minutes after I get there. I They come back from break, and he goes, Hey, your spare tire's flat. It had five. Yes, yes I had. So the spare was also dry rotting. And I didn't know. Why are you storing a fucking car that's so always dry rotting? I got this car when Miracle May was born. I got okay, it. Okay, so it's not the one you had when we came down. Correct. Correct. Okay. So, uh, Tuesday night, uh, my mom followed me. I parked it in Walmart. And I was like, I'll just buy new tires and have them install it. I bought two new tires. Because at the time, I didn't know all four were dry rotting. I just thought it was the two driver sides. I bought two, and they were like, yeah, no, your four are rotting. You need to buy all four. I was like, I can't afford that right now. I get paid on Friday. So it sat in Walmart from Tuesday night until Friday morning. I had to drop 400 on these tires. And I didn't get it back until Friday night at 9 p.m. Because there were too many issues with the car and everything. But we're good to go. I'm good for work, and uh, yeah, so if I didn't drop a thousand on my wife's tattoo, which that was my idea, I'm not blaming her, it was my idea, and uh, yeah, so I will, long story short, say I will never tell myself what could go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would have gone wrong even if you hadn't said anything. <laughs> right. you know, dry rot doesn't just disappear because you didn't say anything. The Lord's like, ah, you know what, I'll give him the day. <laughs> Yeah, you would have had the day. You would have spent the fucking money, and then you would have been fucked. <laughs> uh, pick them up. I've been there and done that. I got to replace my fr uh, my fridge. We went shopping for fridges, and uh, anything decent is 1500 bucks plus. Yep. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Kofi Kingston had a match during our rants. Fantastic. Former world champion. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I had to buy a new fridge when Miracle May was born, because ours shit the bed causing us to throw everything in the fridge out, including the fridge. And I had to buy a brand new fridge for, oh, I think I spent like 900 to $1,200 on a new fridge. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Like, I'm talking Canadian prices, so that makes right. sense. Yeah. yeah Between so, 9 and 1200 is like 1500 Canadian. <laughs> yeah. So up next, Shotzi. Uh, yeah. Shotzi, who's my season's Natalia, uh, taking on Carmella. You haven't seen Carmella in a while. No, we haven't. I'm wondering if she's ever really coming back. Mm, that's true. Ever since she became a mommy to, uh, what's his name? Corey what, Ungrateful Gr it should Corey have, Graves. Corey Graves. It should have been me. I don't know, man. She seems high maintenance to me. Ah, touche. Touche. Wait, so if Rhea is mommy, Liv is stepmommy. Raquel Rodriguez is Mamacita, and Selena Vega is Step Mamacita. Then, what is Carmella? Mamma Mia. 
because it's a son of a bitch. <laughs> I was like, I was not <laughs> expecting you to have. Mama Mia. Yeah, my mother do too, Rosie. I'm so surprised you got my Google. Flexible wife. That's Russian. Not so flexible wife anymore. <laughs> Very flexible. You'll see how I will bend you, Craig. No, <laughs> I, I bend you like a pretzel. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, bada boom! A bada boom, a bada bing. A mama mia, back up to her feet. She's gonna take a shot to the backyard with a tire iron. Your shotty focusing on the arm. Do what she gotta do, and Mama Mia jumping up and she gonna take her to a tire iron. <laughs> Next season. Take her to the woodshed. Next season, October, we have to do the Halloween episode. The Halloween pay per view episode. We have to do, if I remember correctly, Juan Chena. We have to t do uh, Curtis Ankel. And we have to do. Uh, Rando Prefresh or Tan. Ooh, shots are going crazy. That's right. I heard they're actually going to bring back her uh, her surname. She's going to be Shotzi Blackheart again. Oh, fantastic. Agreed. Get rid of the stupid Vincisms. Yes. A boom. A bing. So I got a quote. If if I don't know, hold on. I, I want to look it up before I, before I uh, say it wrong. Make a fool of yourself. Yes. Uh, do I ever do that? Eh, from time to time. And go. Alright, how old is Shad's child, by the way? Oh, Jesus, good question. Probably by now 20? Okay. 18, 20, if, there is, if he is 20, let's say he is 20, how great, with Vince being gone and everything, and Tr Triple H likes the tag division, how great would it be if JTG came back with uh, Shad's kid and uh, they got a, a proper title run. It really depends on uh, if Shad's kid actually wants to or is athletic in that kind of regard. Mm, touche. I mean, he might be more into football and not into wrestling. You yeah. never know. It's true. Carmella! There you go, Shotzi! Boom! Goes the dynamite. I have this worker I work with who's in his late 40s that whenever he shows me pictures, it's uh, of like dad memes. Of bo Sorry, they're called bo boomer memes. And uh, he finds them absolutely hilarious. And I don't have the heart to tell him I don't find them funny. So I just go, oh, yeah, man, it's funny. He goes, yeah, 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 I know, right? So really, I should put a stop to it because he shows me like three a day. He just shared one to me. And it was, he, he titled it, oh, my God, this is too funny. And it's um, it's a picture of inflatable Willy, Wa Willy Wars, the hilarious uh, dueling game where your weapon is is a giant willy and it's uh in the picture you you put it around your Two waist dogs. yeah yeah um, <laughs> <I'm just like>. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh nice carmella i thought about a beautiful oh shotzi that's right Melamine's money, bitch. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> the 
Going up. Fly! Beautiful! Boom! Wow. Oh, I thought that was it. There you go, yep. Tying her up. Yeah, go! Bam! Face to the canvas. So it's red dice! Boom! One, two, there it is. Shots nice. Taking the win. Wow. 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 I still hate that Shotzi haircut. I know. Another three star match. Wow. Isn't that so great? <laughs> So up next, we got Dexter Loomis, a.k.a. Mercy the Buzzard, with Uncle Howdy and Wyatt in his corner. World Champion Wyatt taking on former United States Champion Kid Cash. Well, I gotta say, things ain't looking good for Kid. No, I uh, I don't think so. The Wyatts are on a bit of a roll. Uh, Wyatt winning the world title. Uh, alongside him is uh, Ramblin' Rabbit, Eric Rowan, and uh, Sister Abigail, which is uh, Nikki Cross, and uh, uh, Mercy the Buzzard, Dexter Loomis, and Joe Coffey's um, Husky the Pig is uh, Tag Team Champions. So this is Mercy's first match since becoming Tag Team Champions. Oh, well, goddamn. I know. for you, though. Have you watched uh, the Cobra Kai uh, I started it. I started it. Part yeah, I, I, I started it, but then I was like, I'm going to wait till the next season, the next part of the season to come out. I don't know, man. I don't think I can wait. I'm going to probably go, like, I, I didn't realize it was out until today. Mm -hmm. Even though it came out on Friday, I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to start watching it tomorrow. I'm probably going to finish it in t two days. I mean, they're, they're like 30-minute episodes. And there's only five of them, right? So it's like two and a half hours. Right. Yeah, and I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I'll just watch it all tomorrow. I like the way you think. You're a good kid. I know. I you, do what I can. You know, you'll 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 never be like me, but you know what? Uh, you know the best. The you can I know, never. I'll be successful. <laughs> I'll be, uh, have more money. <laughs> Damn. Mercy! Nice! Damn! Oh, never mind. I thought that was Mercy. Beautiful. No, we're both relatively similar. I'm just older than you, so you'll get to where I am eventually. But by the time you get to where I am, I will have surpassed Damn. where I am now. So you're always going to be playing catch-up. Damn! You said, like I see it, man. you said, and I quote, I forget, I I will forget more than you will ever know. That's true. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I've already forgotten more than you will ever know. Damn. There's like a lot of good uh, back and forth exchange here. Boom. Nice, Mercy. Capitalize. God. There you go, Mercy. Stay on top. Stay on top. What do you 
he's gonna do is give him no mercy. Hey -oh. Strike hard, strike fast, no mercy. I see what you did there. Yep, because I'm clever and fast. Alright, so you know how you know how a couple months ago I told you that I came across this trend where it says one has to go? Nice, Kit Cash. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I... Like 900 pictures? Yep, yeah, now I, I got another one for you. Alright. Alright, beef stroganoff. Swedish meat... I never stroke off my beef. <laughs> Swedish meatballs. Chicken parmesan. Or beef goulash. Jesus. Mm. That's hard. <sighs> nice, Mercy. Mercy, nice! Focus on his back! It's snapping his spine. I've seen Swedish meatballs. Yeah. I know it sucked, but I had to pick one. Ah, oh, damn. Poor guy. I know, you're trying to take away my meat! Right. Take away my meat. I know, I'm sorry. Pick him up. This would put uh Shannon Moore away. Uh yep, and it puts Kid Cash away. God, that choke is nasty. Good night, my fucker. Mercy Buster looking nasty. Yeah. So I decided so usually when they're competing in real life they're doing it without the mask. I thought that I wanted to be different and keep their mask on when they compete. But up next, our main event. Uh, okay. Good night, folks. As always, phenomenal piece. Son of a bitch. Our, our main event, our U.S. champion, the former judge himself. Jay, we gotta keep him. We gotta keep him loose. We gotta keep him going. We gotta gotta keep him on his toes. And with that being said, he's taking on main event, Jay Uso. Now I know what you're thinking, guys. Now, Jam, so I don't want you to in interrupt because I know what the people are thinking. They're they're thinking, Brock Redhead game, game, Gaming, your mid-card champion is going up against a main event? And you know what? You are right. You are right. I am putting my champion against, against him. But you know what? It's like I'm sending a lamb to the slaughter for JBL. He's going to run shit. I hate you. Well, you don't have to hate me. Just stop putting on garbage main events. Uh, uh, first off, Jey Uso's not garbage, by the way. No, he is not. His opponent is. <laughs> no, you son of a bitch. And somehow you're going to have Jibbles beat Jimmy. So I don't, I don't so do anything speak. wrong with the matches. You're going to a has-been bullshit racist asshole legend. I'm just saying. <laughs> first off, sir, they all were racist back in the day. Yeah, but he was a special kind of... <laughs> he was a special... <laughs> oh, shit, JBL. Watch that kick, dude. Oh, watch the Tootsie Fruitsie. A Tootsie Fruitsie. Ice cream. A bada-bing, a bada Jesus, Jay, with a fucking Samoan drop. Jesus. God damn, JBL! You're champion! What are you doing? Whatever he goddamn well pleases. If he wants to lose like a little bitch, that's exactly what he No, doing. you leave JBL alone. Nah, uh, fuck JBL. You're just worried that J JBL's gonna win the vacant mid mid card title. Nothing. He's a has been washed up piece of shit cowboy. Sir, it's okay to admit that you're worried that JBL's gonna walk away with the vacant title. Uh, JBL's gonna walk away with his dick in his hand. That's all. <laughs> God, Jay, give him some time to rest. God damn. Yeah, well, he can rest when he retires, which he should be already. Retire his ass again for the ninth time. Listen, he's here because Even you can't. Even though he should technically have been let go based off of like the agreements that we made. Listen, he's here because you can't do your job. Bullshit. I do my job fine. I can't control your shitty booking. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with me. 
I keep trying to tell you, don't book this shit. And what do you do? You book this shit. You basically just pulled the, the, the Roman line where he's like, I did, d didn't did lose. He did. And I'm like, yep, that's me. Hi. Ooh, schmaz test. There you go, JBL. Come on. Stay focused. Oh, it's done. Welcome to the schmaz event. Oh. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Come on. Says, uh, Jimmy Uso. Or Jay Uso. Nice. Come on, JBL. Two, come on. Oh god damn, he cheated! That's that's right cheat right the there. Tree. That's cheating. How is that cheating? It's a illegal maneuver. Oh, so uh I know you 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 follow the Facebook group and all my platforms or whatever, but for the people that don't I finished the uh, Goku story a little bit ago, and then I finished the, I just finished the Jiren story, um, and, uh, yeah, so next I'm, I'm doing all the Saiyans first, so I'm gonna do, uh, Vegeta next, and then I'm gonna do, uh, Gohans, cause it's teen, it, it's, a uh, adult Gohan. Okay. So, um, I might do that, and then I'll go to Piccolo, and then Goku Black, and all that. Noise. Hey, hey, it's 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 when I know what I'm doing right. It's 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 what I do every day. Yeah, like every game other than WWE. <laughs> Except for oh, there you go. Oh, end it, end it, end it, end it. Done, yes, done. Yes, done. Yes, Thank yes, you for yes, coming, yes, people. Yes, I appreciate you for. Fuck this shit, peace. <laughs> <laughs> JB, I'll cut him. With a nasty clothesline from hell off the ropes. Um, but Jay, for, Jay Actually, my clothes are going, as always, not so phenomenal piece. Just because Jibbles was here. Oh, come on, JBL, what are you doing? Don't fuck this up, JBL. Nobody wants to come on, JBL, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll Why? I'll tell you, Pot. Oh my god. Fuck you, Jibbles. Suck it. Boom, boom, boom. As always, phenomenal piece. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so like I said, we are approaching the final two weeks of the season. Please stick around for night one of Omni War Games and night two yes. of War Games oh, as well. Makes it no, descriptional. No. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. <laughs> Peace.